Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Angel Lives. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody has had a fantastic weekend. I know tomorrow is Monday, back to work for a lot of us, but it'll be a great week, you guys. We just have to stay focused and don't give up. So you guys, tonight, I wanted to come to you guys with my take on 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, the part one tell-all. Anybody that knows me knows that I love reality TV. I'm actually a reality TV junkie. Um, 90 Day Fiance is kind of like that train wreck that you can't look away from. A lot of foolishness, but it's interesting, but it's a lot of foolishness. So you guys, let's get into it. Let's start with Colt and Larissa. Oh my goodness. Colt and Larissa. Colt and Larissa are a hot, hot mess, total hot mess. I feel that Colt and um, his mom, Debbie, needs to cut the cord because I feel that a lot of the problems that he had with Larissa were due to the fact that he lives at home with his mother and his mother was too involved in the relationship. I'm not saying that he should love his mother and that his mother shouldn't live with them but I just feel like from the beginning he didn't he didn't stand his ground and keep his mother out of their marriage and so that created a lot of issues for them because Larissa was expecting to be the woman of the house that she wasn't so I feel that Colt didn't handle things accordingly because that was his wife another thing that he did that I didn't care for is he kind of lorded it over her that uh he threatened her a lot with being deported and, you know, that whole thing. And I thought that was kind of messed up, but they definitely should not be married still. So it's a good thing that they, that they parted ways. And I'm, I'm not an advocate of divorce. I'm not, you know, saying, yeah, whenever you have a problem, get a divorce. I'm not saying that, but those two shouldn't have never been married in the first place. Let's move on to Ashley and Jay. Oh boy. I, you know, the only thing I can say, he's young, he's young. And I'm not saying that a younger man can't get married and make it work and be faithful. I'm not saying that, but I think that what happens a lot of times, he's very young and he's from another country. And a lot of times what happens when um, men come from other countries and they are very young, they tend to be a little wild when they get here because there's so much to see, so much to do. There's a lot of temptation, and let's be real, there's a lot of disrespect towards marriage. That's everywhere, though. I won't say it's just here in America, but I noticed that with a lot of men that come here from other countries, they tend to get a little wild. So, And by him being so very young, eh, she really took a chance on marrying someone that was 20 years old because dude just turned what 21 22 so he's really young and I'm not justifying what he did because what he did was really messed up because I feel that he knew before he married her that he wasn't ready to be married um, he basically told the barbers when he went to get his hair cut that he wasn't that he wasn't ready and yet he still went ahead with it and so you can kind of see that maybe he was motivated by wanting a green card. I'm just saying, don't come from me. Don't come from my head. I'm just saying, it seemed that way. And unfortunately, he broke her heart. She withdrew the divorce. He did it again. And it's like, y'all let it go. Just let it go. So I just feel that, you know, um, it wasn't a good, it wasn't going to be a good situation. And I hate to see anyone hurting and I feel for her and I hope that she's moved on with her life. I don't really follow, um, follow them on social media. So I don't know if she's moved on, but I hope that she has because he just ain't ready. Maybe in about 10, 12, 15 years, he'll be ready. Ooh, child, Chantel and Pedro. I think that uh, Chantel and Pedro really have a real marriage. I think that they love each other, but I'll be honest, it's both of their families. I see just, and I'm just like everyone else outside looking in, only seeing what we see on TV. 
these two need to tell their parents to have several seats and stay out of their relationship. I feel that Pedro's family, though, does not respect his marriage. They don't respect his wife and they don't respect his marriage. And part of that, I believe, is because he doesn't. And the thing is, this goes both ways. If you don't respect your spouse, other people won't. If you don't respect your marriage and make it a priority, other people won't. You, When you're in a marriage, you have to sometimes tell other people to stay out of it and mind their own business and let you handle your marriage the way you want to handle it. But she don't do that and neither does he. So they're going to forever have problems until they both learn how to stand up to their families and say, stay out of my marriage. This is my marriage. I want y'all to stay out of it. I just, I, the situation with him in the Dominican Republic, grinding with the girl grinding on him and he's slinging her all around and she giving him a lap, basically she gave him a lap dance. I have to agree with pal. She gave him a lap dance and that's inappropriate. You're married. You don't need to be getting lap dances from nobody but your wife. So he, any, any anger that she had towards him for that was deserved because he shouldn't have done that. He totally disrespected her. And you did that on TV. Everybody saw that. So that to me was just him acting out because he was there with his family and his friends. So he needs to grow up. I think they both have some growing up to do, but that really shows that he needs to grow up because that was classless. That was really tasteless. And so he needs to not do that again because I'm with her. You, he embarrassed her. That was very embarrassing. It was hard to watch. You know how some things you see on TV are just hard to watch, but you watch it. That was one of those things because you already knew that when she saw the playback, she was going to go ballistic. So yeah. But I really think they need to keep their families out of it. And I, I root for them because, I don't know, there's something about them that I just like as a couple. So this was part one of the couple's tell-all. Next week is going to be part two. And I'll be coming back to you guys with my take on it. Um, you guys, again, I love, love, love reality TV. I kind of had to take a step back from like love and hip hop and stuff because love and hip hop was making me violent. It was making me have violent dreams. It was making me want to go upside people's heads and throw drinks. And that ain't even who I am. So I had to stop watching that. But anyways, you guys give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, drop me a comment and let me know if you watch the show and what you think. And you guys, please share my video if you're inclined to do so. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.